Out of the gun, Tungo Veloa. That's taken in by Achan. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup, because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down, where it's a little bit more manageable. Hey, 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 hey! Help! Third and two, Tungo Vailoa. And this is gonna be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. They told us this week they were going to try to come out fast, and tell you what, that's exactly what they did. Put immediate pressure on this secondary and let them know, hey, all game long today, you better defend every blade of grass because we're coming out firing. And even though that ball falls incomplete, it goes a long way in setting up the rest of this game plan as the game unfolds. A little bit of a risky decision for some, Mike, but frankly, I really like it. I think the days of being aggressive on fourth down, even on your side of the field, are here to stay. And while some people say this is over-aggressive, in this case, the aggressiveness paid off, and they're going to keep this drive alive. This one is complete along the sideline. A very nice job to fit that ball in. It'll be a modest game. Second and seven. Again, it's Tua. That's complete. It's Jalen Waddle. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. Tua and his old Bama teammate Waddle for the Dolphin first down. Tight end going in motion here. It's a first carry for the veteran Raheem Mostert. And he is going to be stuffed well behind the line of scrimmage. That play going absolutely nowhere. Every team makes an emphasis on winning first down. But as a defense, when you're able to take them back for a loss, second and long, you can really become more of a pass-centric defense and really tips the scales. That's in the end zone and intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Elliott. When you find yourself in this situation, Mike, you're on defense, you're defending your own goal line, you got to take some chances. You've got to try to force a turnover and make a play and get off the field. That's exactly what this defender did. Takes a chance, bets on himself, and comes away with a pick to save them some points. And this play is going nowhere. Taken down behind the line. A great way for this defense to get on the field and get started. From the gun, it's Wilson. Carrying that ball loosely, and it is out. And the defense has it. Mike, we hear that term run after catch so often, and sometimes people miss that there's kind of a middle phase. There's the catch, but before it turns into a run, you have to secure the ball as a ball carrier, right? It needs to be put away, properly held, points of pressure, front tip up against your body. All of that is kind of taken for granted. Catching it is just step one. You've got to secure the ball before you become a runner. Call it a game of 13. Good for a Dolphins first down. Here's Tungo Vailoa. They're trying to set up the screen to Moster. And he's brought down after a game of six on first down. He's a pick up of six. Brings up second Hey, come on, two. Come on. Two up. Gives it to Moster. Maybe a couple there. It's third down. A shotgun snap for Tua. This one caught at the four. And he's taken down on what should be the final play of this first quarter.
They can still pick up a first down here, and they'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They'll run the sneak. Pretty simple here, Mike. Every team, they have to sheet up in the box. It's their own analytics telling them when to go for it, when not to go for it. And in this spot, their metrics say go for it, sneaks the call, first down. All right, fellas, listen up. Solo left Zion. Solo left Zion. Here's two. And that one's incomplete, but a late flag comes in. Looks like he might have gotten there early. The defense still arguing about that pass interference call, but their focus needs to be a stop. They face first and goal. They try to push forward, but only a yard down to the two. Here now, second down and goal. Get set. Now it's Tua. And he's in. Donu Smith. Touchdown by Allen. Jason Sanders on for the point after. The kick is good. And the Dolphins will take a 7-0 lead. Seven nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. It's a return. Here comes Calvin Austin. He'll get across the 20. Mark him down at the 23-yard line. First and ten. Now a first carry for the Alabama product, Najee Harris. He's able to get away from one man, but those reinforcements, they got there quick. Take him down behind the line. They go play action now. Wilson. Open man downfield is Fryer move. A big time play for Pittsburgh. 32 yards. On first down, it's Harris. And this will be a short pickup down to the 45. David Wong, they're on the stop. Two minutes remaining. First half in a 7 nothing game. We'll come back to Miami after this. Here's second and nine. Out of the gun, it's Wilson. That's caught by Van Jefferson. And they'll take this down inside the 35. Throwing now, Wilson on first down. In trouble, down he goes. Now the Dolphins going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll get together prior to this second down play. What? There, there. What? From the shotgun, Wilson. What a run. He brings it to the red zone. Taken down inside the 20 yard line. Now Wilson on first down. And that time, the pressure too much. He'll go down. Now Miami going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. What? 
Good cut. Throwing is Wilson. Here's a screen set up for Warren. The Dolphins going to use their final timeout here. Talk things over before third down. Wilson lines up in the pistol. He'll get this over the middle to Jefferson. Well, it goes without saying. You want to play wide receiver in the NFL, Mike. How well can you change directions? How fast can you get your body from one direction to another? And when you can cut like this guy, I'm not sure how you guard him. down the veteran Chris Boswell on for the Steelers this from extra point range a 33 yard field goal attempt and the back judge throws the flag he looks at the ball looks at the clock clock says zero that's a delay a game Here comes Chris Boswell to try a field goal. This will be a 38-yard attempt. Boswell's kick is good. And the Steelers are on the board. It's 7-3. to three. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals, but in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. They didn't leave much time on the clock to put together a drive here at the end of the first half. And the kickoff's coming their way. Here's Berrios on the return. Now an opening past the 30. A very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The break the huddle coming up now for first and 10. To throw is Tua. He'll get that into the hands of Tyree Kill. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. 12 was nice last time, so they did it again. Another 12-yard pickup and another first down. They'll try again here, second and 10. All right, come on. Water, low, low. Yeah. 20 TX. He's right, no. Out. A play fake. Now two of the throw. He's gonna look deep for Tyreek. That is Tyreek Hill. Touchdown, Dolphins. So they take the shot downfield, and it is caught in the end zone. Four, eight, touchdown. What a big play that is, Greg. Absolutely, Mike. And the key to a play like this is when the ball travels this far in the air, they teach you, don't look back, look up. Because that's where the ball will be. And in this case, he was able to secure it and come away with a big touchdown. So, two seconds left to play, and the kick's away. Uh -huh. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three.
Jason Sander is the kickoff for Miami. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Calvin Austin now from his own end zone. Oh, oh. good job in coverage. They're going to get him down short of the 20-yard line. First and ten, it's Wilson. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Here's Harris. And a pick his way forward. A gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. They go play action with Wilson. Is caught by Washington. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Here's first and ten. Now Russ. He's got it into the hands of the rookie from Michigan. Here's a second and three fourth come. Off the play fake. Here's Wilson. That's to the left side and taken in by Jefferson. A pickup of 15 in the air. That's a Steeler first down. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Second down, Wilson. That one a bit high, but it's complete. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 17 yards. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Throwing right, it's taken in. And they'll get him up four here as he is taken down. The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. That'll be caught by the running back, Warren. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Try and run it here with Warren. He's going nowhere. That call, not the right one. It's going to bring up fourth down. Fields to throw for it. Oh, he's going to be very close. It depends on the mark. But he is short. They've held him on fourth down. They'll come up here first and ten. Hey, 21 TA. A shotgun snap for two. That's over the middle. Caught by Tyree. And he's going to give him some breathing room past the 15-yard line. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. 
Now Tua. He'll try to set up the screen to Mostert. And he's going to lose yardage here. That's the way they'll switch ends as this third quarter has come to an end. Here's a second and 12. All right. Money TX. From the gun, here's Tua. That's taken in by HN. And it'll be taken down just shy of the 30. That's a gain of 15. Good for a Dolphins first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. Ready. They'll run the draw with Mostert. He'll work his way ahead for a game of about four. Here's a second and six. Out of the gun, Tungo Veloa. Open man downfield, Tyreek Hill. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. It is a big play to it, a Tyree. 39 yards. Ready. 21G, 21G. Heck. On first and 10, here's Tua. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. And he takes it down to the 15-yard line. That's a pair of hookups on this drive. This one goes for 14 yards and a first down. Right here. No run out of the gun. This is Mostert. And he's able to sidestep his way forward and pick up four. again it's Mostert that was some good downhill running to get him about six yards and set up a much more manageable third down hey, get set. so two minutes to play here in the second half we'll come back and finish this one off after this Here's third down and a few inches. Ready, shot. Hey, hey. Out. They'll drop to throw. That is caught side of the end zone. Donu Smith, touchdown Miami. Two touchdowns for him now in the afternoon. The extra point by Sanders is good. And the Dolphins move out to a 21-3 advantage. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. On the return, here comes Cordero Patterson. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. RPO quick throw grabbed by Wilson. He'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. And the shotgun, Wilson. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Jalen Ramsey. And his offense is going to be all set up with a short field 
and a chance to extend their lead. Those simple routes over the middle, Mike. Well, to the quarterback, they're not always so simple. I'll tell you why. There's a lot of bodies in the middle of the field. There's a lot of traffic. Those windows are hard to navigate the ball through safely. So what happens? Well, you saw it there. It's a prime area for throws to be intercepted. On first down, here's Tungo Vailoa to throw. To the goal line and in. Come on, Eitan. Touchdown, Dolphins. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. After the touchdown, Myers is back to boot this one away. This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it up. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. They'll start this on the ground, and it's Harris. And the woes in the running game continue. They're going to subtract yards there. A loss on the play. Get it go, get it go. Play action. Now, Wilson. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Let's go, let's go. Double count right here. Double quick. Wilson lines up in the pistol. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Well, 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 quick. On second down, Russ. And he just does get that one away. He was being chased down. Force the awkward throw. Maybe he's fortunate that all it is is an incompletion. Cut. On third down, here's Wilson. He's got his man. It's Jefferson. 15 yards through the air. Good for a Steeler first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. And he's going to go out of bounds with no time remaining on the clock. This game is over. So a win here for the Dolphins. They didn't quite get the shutout they were hoping for and likely deserve. This was a tremendous defensive performance. Held the other guys to just a field goal. That's all. That defensive unit was the driving force in this victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Oates. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Dolphins, home winners here as we say farewell from South Florida.